Hello everyone, I'm Miss Karen and welcome to the first Little Scientist video where we will be exploring four of our five senses. What are our five senses? Let's start off with the one that we're going to have to miss this time. We taste with our tongues. What about with our nose? What do we do with our nose? <laughs> we smell. What do we use to hear things with? That's right, our ears. What about our eyes? What do we use our eyes for? That's right, we see with our eyes. And we mostly use our hands to touch. That's what we're gonna be exploring this month. I found this cool book called Touch by Anita Garnieri, which we will be reading just a couple of pages of to learn a little bit about our sense of touch. Touchy feely. What happens when you stroke a cat? What does it feel like? Does the cat's fur feel soft and silky or hard and rough? Hmm, what do you think? Yeah, I think kitty cats are usually pretty soft and silky. Touch is one of your senses. Your senses tell you about the world around you. And look, your five senses are sight, hearing, touch, taste, and smell. What we just went over. What can you touch? Your sense of touch tells you how things feel. You can feel whether things are rough or smooth. You can feel whether something is hard or soft. You can feel whether something is hot or cold. What do you feel when you go outside lately? Yeah, it's really cold. Touch messages. There are millions of tiny nerves under your skin. Each kind feels a different thing. Then the nerves and mess sends messages to your brain to tell you what you can touch and feel. Wow, that is really cool. It's your skin. It's special nerves in your skin that lets you touch and feel things. Now, let's explore with our cool experiments. We're gonna be experimenting with water beads today. Now, my adults, these are really small, okay? I have put them in a baggie for you. Now you feel free to keep them in the baggie. If you know that your little likes to grab things and put them in their mouth right away, then we should probably keep them in the baggie for this experiment. But at your discretion, you can ask, you can put some in your hand and ask them to feel it or just feel it through the baggie. What do they feel like? What do they look like? It's so itty, 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 bitty, itty, bitty. <laughs> Are they hard or soft? Are they hot or cold or neither? Use those descriptive words. When you ask your little questions like, what does it feel like? They may not have the words yet, but give them a chance. Let them, let them feel, let them touch, let them talk. Then maybe you might wanna say, well, do you know what I think they feel like? Give them those words, squishy, soft, hard, cold. Now you're gonna add water to your water beads. I'm gonna show you what I did with mine, and then I'll give you some suggestions for how you, other ways that you can add water to it and play with your water beads. I use the bag, but you can also use a see-through cup or a big bowl. 
and I added the water right into the bag. You also might want to check it more frequently in the first hour or so. Sometimes they get bumpy before they really turn into a ball. They got big so fast. I had to split it into two after only 30 minutes. With putting them in the bag, your littlest little might be able to understand how much they grew a little bit better. There was so much room to begin with. Every time I split the bags, I added more water. Mine were pretty much grown after three hours, but I decided to let them sit in more water while I was away for three days. Look how much they grew. From those that itty bitty bag to four full bags. Once your water beads are big, you can start adding them to the balloon. You can just pop them right in there. Fill your balloon up with water beads. Tie a knot at the end, and now you have a cool stress ball water bead balloon. And you can touch them all, or you can try to squeeze one. This is a nice, safe way for your littles to explore the water beads. Also in your kit, you're gonna find a few random objects, like this one here. Now I want you to take your touch and feel paper. You'll see it's divided into six sections. We have soft, rough, smooth, hard, fuzzy, and bumpy. Now you can take the little objects that are left in your kit and decide where it goes on your paper. You can just set it there in the square. You can glue it in there. You can gather other items around the house. Where do they belong? It's a great way to explore your sense of touch. I have a bonus fun experiment for you with stuff you probably already have around the house. Have you ever played with kinetic or moon sand? It looks like regular sand, but when you squeeze it tight, it holds its shape. And then when you press it again, it comes crumbling down. Now you can make your own kind of kinetic sand at home using flour and baby oil. You get one cup of flour and a fourth cup of baby oil and mix it together. Feel it, touch it, mix it up with your hands. Maybe you add a little bit more flour or a little bit more oil. Maybe you try flour and water. How is that different? Other experiments you can do are things like just take a walk outside, pick up a pine cone, pick up a rock or a stick. Maybe you find a smooth rock. Maybe you find a real rough, bumpy rock. Grab a little bucket and take it around with you throughout the yard so you have something to put it in and then dump them out and see. What about snow? Sometimes snow is light and fluffy. Sometimes it's hard like ice, but it's always cold. And remember to keep asking, what does it feel like? Thank you all for joining me today. I hope you have lots of fun exploring your sense of touch.